I'm not gonna lie for these last, I'm gonna say for this last week, I've been just out of it. Like, I've just been down. I've been in this depressed, low, tired state. And this low key been hindering me from actually making content. My last couple of videos, I've been just posting TikToks and shorts just to stay consistent, but I haven't really put out an actual video in like, I wanna say two weeks, damn near three. I haven't put out a video in like two to three weeks. I'm, I'm not okay, but that's okay. I already made a video about struggle. I feel like what I'm feeling right now is just, it's like a transitioning phase. Whenever I go through something or whenever anybody goes through something, it's the start of change. Depression and lower states are a sign that something needs to change. I'm probably gonna do another video about depression. This is just low, this is just an update. But when you're depressed, that's not a sign that something is missing from your life. It's a sign that something needs to go. You have everything you need, but you always feel like something is missing and it's causing you to become sad. Really, it's something that you're holding on to that shouldn't even be there. It's affecting you in a negative way. This could be anything. I, I just made I just recently made a video about attachment. There are things in your life that you're attached to that you hold on to that probably aren't giving you any positive benefit to your life. And it's affecting you in ways you don't even know. You're not even aware that it's affecting you. That's why you really gotta dig deep and pay attention to how you feel. Always pay attention to how you feel because like anything could be wrong. It'd be the littlest thing that you don't even pay attention to and it's actually fucking your life up. And it's crazy. That's really why you gotta just pay attention to how you feel, pay attention to who you're around, what you're around, what you're doing on a daily basis, your habits, stuff like that. For me personally, I feel like this is a transition phase, obviously. I'm gonna be straight. When I go through shit, I know that there's always light at the end of the tunnel. But as of recently, it's just been like, I'm in emotional consolidation. Me personally, I know what the issue is. It's just a matter of how to fix it. It feels like I'm transitioning into something because the habits that I've been doing now, well, in college, you know, you, you, you have your fun, you live your life, do what you gotta do. But I feel like the habits that I'm doing now, they've kind of, I feel like I'm above them. I feel like I'm above them in a sense where what I'm doing isn't really serving me any purpose. I've come to this point where I know that there are things in my life that can be so much better. My finances, my physical health, my mental health, my diet, just stuff like that. I know that can be like way better. And it feels like I'm transforming. It feels like I was talking to my mentor about this. Shout out to uh, Von Talent. It's a, a whole analogy about butterflies. Basically what I'm trying to say is the cocoon that I have myself in, I'm starting to grow out of it cocoon that I'm stuck in right now, I'm starting to grow out of. I'm starting to get out of my comfort zone. Here's how I better explain that. The way that I'm living life right now, I know that there's 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 just something higher. Like I just I'm raising I'm raising the standards of myself. I'm raising the standards of myself. I know there are things in my life right now that I could be doing better. There are new habits I can take on. So this state that I'm in right now is just preparing me for it. As I said, I'm getting out my cocoon. I'm growing out of my old self. Every week, it's a new me. I could go as far as to say every day it's a new me, but we just gonna say every week is a newer version of me, a better one. Even if I'm not feeling the best, I'm still changing. I'm making a positive change. Everything that I'm going through right now emotionally, the way that I'm feeling is showing me that something has to change. Not completely just like, is gone, but something has to improve. There are things in my life that I can improve on. Everyone has an addiction, whether it is good or bad. I'm addicted to growth. It, I just can't stop. Every time you experience these, we're not even gonna call them negative. Whenever you feel sad, you feel depressed, just know that there's always light at the end of the tunnel. There is always light at the end of the tunnel, but nothing is gonna push you out that tunnel except yourself. You gotta realize where you are, where you stand, and what in your life needs to change. You are responsible for the way that you are now. The way that you are living your life right now, the way that you are mentally, emotionally, it's not all dependent on you, but do know that you take some, if not most, if not most, then all responsibility for who you are now, the way you are now. Yeah, shit has happened to you in the past. What are you doing to fix it? You can no longer blame a situation that has previously hurt you and is still hurting you now you have to blame yourself for not being able to move on, for not being able to 
recover. It's all on you. You're responsible for change. Once you change yourself, you change the world around you. That's pretty much all I got to say. This isn't this isn't like a discussion video where I just talk about, you know, life experiences. This is mostly just an update of where I've been. Yeah, I'm not going to, I'm not going to come out here too much talking about you're the greatest. You're the best. Stop fucking with the fake friends. You don't got to fit in. Hold your seat. Nah, I, but this is this is just where I've been at mentally and just yeah, that's pretty much it. Show love, show gratitude, maintain peace, and stay vigilant. <laughs>